It is early morning in Rwanda and the Akagera Game Reserve opens its gates to visitors. Along this unpaved road is a land of unspoiled beauty, a place where commercialization is unknown. Most of all, it is a safe refuge for wildlife. Tampa guide Jed Caddick takes Floridians here who are in search of adventure. Rwanda is such a diverse destination. You can visit Akagera National Park, which is a savanna ecosystem just like the Serengeti. Like the Serengeti, you search for wildlife. One animal not hard to spot is the giraffe. I'm amazed how close we can get to this wild but gentle giant. One curious creature there is no shortage of is the baboon. This one is not afraid to walk right in front of our Jeep. Now this is a ranger station here in the park. It's an integral part of this wilderness. Now the ranger behind me has one job and one job only, to make sure poachers don't come in here and kill any of the animals. During the 90s, Rwanda was in chaos. A genocide took millions of people. Also murdered were lions, elephants, and giraffes. During the genocide, many of the animals inside Akagera National Park were slaughtered too, just like people. The whole country dissolved into lawlessness. The genocide is long gone, but not forgotten here. With watchful protection, animal migration is taking place from nearby Tanzania. Right now, we're near one of the most dangerous animals in all of Africa. And what's interesting about this creature, half the time, you can't even see them. But if you look real closely, you'll see their heads going up and down. The hippopotamus kills more Africans each year than any other animal. It's an aggressive creature. As I shoot this video, I make sure I can make it to the Jeep should one charge. Like so much of Africa, Akagera's future relies on wildlife conservation. Game reserves do attract tourists, so there is a stake in keeping animals protected, something that many future generations will hopefully be able to explore.